All right, guys, we got another M416 here. These are becoming, they've always been very popular and they continue to be popular. So these companies keep coming out with these M416s. Uh, they are essentially all the same. They all have mechanical magazines. This one does also give you a drum mag with the regular mag. So really what it comes down to with these M416s, when you see one like this, they are basically the same internals. They're the same blaster. Um, base your decision if, if you're purchasing one of these off of the accessories that come with it because that's where there's additional value or that's what differentiates these blasters otherwise they are the same and this is one of the first um, mechanical magazine blasters that ever came out was the m416 model like this um, we'll go ahead we'll go through what comes with it we'll kind of put it together while we go uh, everything you see up here comes inside the box i just got it on the table for you Safety glasses, of course, make sure you wear some sort of eye protection. You know, they're always going to give you that. Sunglasses are a great option, too. They give you 20,000 gel beads plus an additional 2,500. Make sure you're soaking your gel beads properly. Make sure they're getting the 7 to 8 millimeters. If you don't know how to soak your gel beads, please watch one of my videos that is specific to gel bead soaking. You're, you, these are mechanical magazines. They have some consistency issues. They're a little finicky as it is. So make sure your gel balls are perfect if you want to go this route and have a mechanical magazine. Uh, that'll give you less headaches and issues. All right. Speaking of that, we've got the two magazines here. Standard magazine, right? The little door opens there. You fill it up and then you would make sure to always manually prime it. That means click this for about five seconds till gel balls start popping out. There's a little wheel in here that every time this clicks, it pushes a gel ball up the feed tube. So you're gonna have to click it about 15 times to get one to pop out of the feed tube. That means it's ready to shoot. Same situation with the drum mag. You gotta make sure that you're priming this as well until some pop out the top. Also, make sure you never leave gel balls in here when you're done playing. Shake them all out. Make sure these are empty, okay? Uh, give them a chance to dry out. That's a good idea. Uh, the mechanical blaster uh, magazines, they do work, but like I said, they're a bit finicky, and you have to prime them. you got to have those gel balls perfect, and you still may occasionally have some issues. So just know that going forward if you, if you go this route, and you should be okay comes with a 600 MOS 7.4 volt battery. This is a single plug four pin connection. This is the same type of battery we've seen with these blasters for a long time. USB charger, plug it into any AC adapter, charge it up, should take about two hours to fully charge. Okay, battery goes in the buffer tube. The buffer tube is permanent on here. So you're gonna go battery first, right? Which I say all the time, if you can, always go battery first and then plug in and put the harness down so that it's not getting jammed in there and stuck on something. Stock, there's your button. Just gonna hold that button down while you line it up and push it on. And then that button is what lets you telescope it as well, okay? So there, we got that set up. Barrel, you can see there's a couple little pieces there. And then there's some notches right here. So we're gonna line it up with that. So line it up. Twist it in place, should be straight, ready to go. So at this point, we, we could go ahead and shoot. We can put it into automatic and shoot, or you can have it in safety. When you're in safety, you can pull the charging handle and you can shoot it manually like that, okay? Which would just be shooting it you know, one at a time. All right, so we got trigger safety there, charging handle I talked about, magazine release buttons right here. Magazine just slides in and then push the button and pull to release. Of course, this uh, gets a little smoother as it's used, right? Same with the drum mag, just slides in there and releases from there as well. So we got that set up. Now you got the different accessories to go with, okay? Little laser, it can just, and this just slides on and you'll kind of hear it clicking over each, um, you know, rail to get it to the position you want. Here we got a scope with the flip ups. I like that. And then this one actually is powered. And you'll see when we turn it on, it actually lights up. Now that's the first that I've seen. I haven't seen this. I've seen this scope before, but not with the power like that. So that's kind of cool. And this one does actually need to sit in between a rail. So kind of 
It's easiest to just flip it over the top of one and then get it to fall in between. There we go. And tighten it. Tighten it down. Okay. You could also put that laser on the side of this if you wanted to. Plus, you got the side rails. Of course, you can go ahead and put your little sights up here if you want to. And then your back one could go in the back if it's going to fit on with the scope. Yep, there we go. So you could do that. doesn't make a lot of sense, but hey, for the sake of the video, we'll put everything on there. Sling, clips there, clips there if you want to go that route as well. So there's the quick rundown. They also give you this little container. You can store extra gel balls in it when you're playing or just at home, whatever. Uh, so there it is. M416 fully automatic gel ball blaster. Uh, comments, questions, post them below. I'll just go ahead and do a demo with FPS test that I'll attach right to the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. All right, we're going to shoot the M416 here. We're going to use the drum mag right now. It also comes with that regular mag, if you remember. And we're going to prime it first, though. So I talk about this all the time now in the videos, guys. So if you get a mechanical magazine blaster, you have to prime it each time you fill it up. Now, I already shot this once, so it's going to be pretty quick. We're going to jump some gel balls out right away. But if I hadn't shot it and the feed tube wasn't full, it would take a good, you know, 10 clicks at least, right, to get one to pop out. So just make sure you're used to doing that every time you fill it up. So we'll shoot it here. We'll start with the close target and then we'll shoot the far target. All right, so we're hitting that. Pretty good accuracy. That's only about 15 feet away. Far target's about 40 feet. So if we hit it, usually we've got about 50 feet range. And it's not having any problem hitting the top of that. So I'd say you got 50 feet range with it. Now let's see where we're at on the FPS. I'd say it's about 125 FPS for the average. There were highs in low 140s, lows around 115, 112, uh, but pretty consistently around 125 FPS would be the average, I would say, for the M416 here. Like I said, it comes with the drum and the regular mag. So overall, pretty good. What do you guys think? Um, let me know. Comments, questions, please post them below. And of course, please like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends, and make sure you're participating in all the giveaways. Thanks.